We'll examine that tonight at 10 o'clock. And finally, a couple of months ago here on 7 News, we told you about a fascinating group of car owners here in the Denver area, but we wanted to dig just a little bit deeper and learn more about this particular club. As 7 News editor Brian Weister and photographer Will Blakely show us, just seeing this group on the highway is enough to stop you <clears throat> dead in your tracks. Uh, you know, it's a sensitive subject. It's not disrespectful or anything like that. I think a lot more people think it's fun. I've got the rotators and the overhead lights, front flashers and side lights here. I actually did decide when I was a kid that I wanted the Ghostbusters car. It definitely makes you unique. I've loved cars since I was a kid. They're nice and roomy. The rides to die for. My hearse? I first bought a hearse in 94. And it was just this huge black and chrome beast. It's a uh, Eddie Oldsmobile. And it's 22 feet long. It was $250, and uh, we've been friends ever since. I kind of wanted a car that would be spooky. That's right. And that I felt uh, I would look good in. I like it. That was in 96. And that's when we actually started the Denver Hearse Association. Before we knew it, we were chasing down every rumored hearse owner in, in Denver. We got really excited when we could get four cars at a meet. It's just taken off from there. Almost 30 members. <laughs> This club gives people a chance to find parts. It gives them a chance to cruise with other people, relate stories, and just meet other people who have hearses. It's an interesting group. From uh, young enthusiasts. I'm sort of the office freak. To older uh, professionals. Why do you own a hearse? You look so normal. To, you know, punk rock kids. We've tried to make it a group where everybody feels welcome. It's kind of a funny funny car to have. And if I got one that I could buy cheap, I'd probably buy it. I mean, it's not every day you see a hearse driving around with a surfboard on top painted purple. What compels that person to drive that hearse? I've never owned a classic car. I needed it for the autopsy mobile repair business. Just because of the gothic lifestyle. We decided that this was unusual. I think a lot of people get a kick out of the attention. You get a lot of different reactions driving it. Lots of thumbs up. They want to see what's in the back. Lots of hooping and hollering. People either really like it. Or they hate them. Yeah, this is my everyday car. This is the weekend car. This one's named Charlotte. This hearse does have a, a ghost. You have a dead body back there. That's the casket trailer. We have to get seatbelts installed for uh, for the baby seat. It's a uh, dead end. It's also really handy in picking up furniture. Once you get used to them, you just fall in love. We're not that much different from any other car club. And the thing I like about this group is that they just have fun. And it's nothing that's creepy or spooky or eerie. Yeah, it's just a little, uh, a little on the edge. Now, if they roll down the road, you know the <laughs> you know story behind them, right? <laughs> well, you know, they all had killer paint jobs. That's right. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I had to that one, and I did. On that note, <laughs> we will end. You know, and they have a website, too, actually. Yeah, you can look them up at denverhearse.com. Because we know you do want to look them up or <laughs> dig them up. Or You're dying Okay, that's it. enough. That's, <laughs> all right. that's all for now. Good night. <laughs> it's done. Seven News is 